Rude boy when a miss with the Tesla squad. <laughs> Don't mess with the squad, Tesla. USA, USA, that was us riding out to the shareholders meeting in the cyber truck. But let's get the business. Shout out to Sandy Monroe. Let's talk about how he was blown away. I'd never seen a CEO who knew more about the product. Sandy Monroe recalls a two-hour design review with Musk at Tesla in early 2021 he attended after an interview. Tell me which one of your guys know a CEO or a boss or supervisor that knows the product like Elon Musk knows Tesla, that knows SpaceX and every other company that he has. He's involved Elon stories. Check the channel, guys. I've been providing you with information and stories straight on the ground so you can understand the mind of the CEO. You can see his daily interactions. You can hear stories about what he's doing and compare that to any other company you invest in or any other company that you think is better. Sandy, take it away. I was blown away. I've never seen a CEO ever or a president that knew more about the product that knew the details of a product that could could bring an idea and um, and uh, discuss it not just in you know grandiose hand waving kind of but hey let's let's use this formula and rattle off a formula or rattle off a material or rattle off a process that is kind of obscure unless you're like a detail engineer. I was I was blown away. See, when I say it, I'm a fanboy. Take it from an expert from the industry. Now let's get back. I'm a fanboy and I don't know better. Okay, Roger that. Tesla fanboys and etc. Shout outs to the employees who speak up and speak upon the truth about people we don't know. And this is one of his employees. Shout outs to OA. OA says, I was with Elon nearly every single day during Model 3 hell. This included Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's Eve, and his birthday, and nearly missing his brother's wedding. He left the factory to fly straight there, barely making it, as he was helping resolve production challenges and being present with the associates and the whole team. From countless firsthand experiences, I cannot begin to describe the immense personal sacrifice and commitment made by Elon directly from the front line not the rear with the gear let's get it i took the photo below on the day of his birthday at close to midnight we were stationed at pain and Gress, station 1911 resolving the consistent a uh, constraint for the entire production system so here we go they're at the station resolving a constraint issue of the production system at almost close to midnight. The tenacity and willingness to perform any job and drive us to excel is unwavering. When I started Giga Texas, shout outs to bringing factories back to America, Elon slept on site for a period of time. His direct acts, which people on the team didn't even believe at first, quote, your goal is to not let me sleep. The machine needs to be running 24-7, end quote. Epic. It was an awesome fire to have lit and drove all of us. From the initial site you see below, with mining pits that were 30 feet deep to producing 1,000 cars in a week in less than two years. Drop a bomb for the leader, King Kong, Elon. See, you guys don't get it. You don't get the amount of sacrifice. Look at this barren land. Let me put it on a jumbo screen for you fake patriots, for you naysayers and haters. Look at this land. It's just land. A road, a pathway a highway passing by. And 
Because of one man, like Elon, we get this. One of the biggest factories in the entire world. It's one thing to bring jobs just back to America. But everything's bigger in Texas. Everything's better in USA. And so Elon just didn't bring a freaking factory. That's just like every other factory. And quite honestly, not like every other factory, because every other factory left. Every other factory did what they had to do. Shout out to them. I'm a capitalist. I'm not even hating. But when Elon came back, when Elon was sleeping inside the factory at midnight, missing Thanksgivings, you was drinking turkey. <laughs> drinking turkey. You was drinking <laughs> whatever you drink at got dang popping bubbly, right? Drinking wine. Eating cranberry sauce and, and stuffing in the turkey. On Christmas, you were drinking eggnog, unwrapping presents, looking at stockings. In New Year's, you were partying hard like a rock star, like you done lost your mind, like you was about to do something the next year that you ain't did in the previous year. Waiting for the ball to drop. And on your birthday, you acting like something was new. But Elon was in the factory almost missing his brother's birthday. And let me show you what Elon does, because this is what you need to understand. Underneath a right company with the right employees, he lit a fire underneath them, a desire to outperform all other employees in the S&P 500, in my opinion, because they saw a CEO lead from the front. See, most of you guys have never been on the battlefield. So you don't understand this. Get out the way. What I'm going to explain to you is when you got a general that leads from the front, that picks up the blicky, that picks up the M16 with the cami greens and rifle sling and leads from the front, you have to recognize pimping in leadership. Damn what you think about Twitter and post and all this nonsense. What about taking a place that looks like this and turning it into a place that looks like this? Put some respect on the man's name. Bringing style back to the United States of America. And shout out to the shareholder that really speaks to something that I think is important for Elon. Something that I think is serious, that a shareholder that invested his money into the company, he could ask something. He could ask about money. He can ask about the profits, the P-E-P-S. And he could ask about the ratio. He could ask about the stock profit from the last week to the last month, to the last day, to the last year to date, to the last. He can do that. But he decides to ask something that I think is necessary to ask the general every once in a while. You're an absolute idol. This question comes because I care about you as a human being, but in the context of being a shareholder, um, unlocking these values of Optimus, we need you. And uh, just with all the global uncertainty, you're so high profile, just wanna make sure you're doing everything to take care of yourself, safety and health for the future of the company. <laughs> Um, I say that because I care about you as a person, but since this is a shareholder meeting in the spirit of shareholder value. Well, thank you. I appreciate the kind sentiments. Um, uh, yeah, I, I think I, I probably need to like work out. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, you know, and, and like not get, not get assassinated or something, you know. You're an absolute. Let me tell you something. Crystal clear for anybody that thinks they could put hands on Elon. Think again. See, it's not going to be a case where everybody just say RIP. So beware that you will be deleted. We don't play. 
We're going to protect our renaissance. We're going to protect our general. And if you need some advice, because the big homie got guns, the big homie, the one and only, got guns on them. You feel me? My trapezoids, my flat toys, and I don't train for sports. I don't train to be big. I train for violence. Straight up. Not no clown out here boxing. <laughs> Jab. <laughs> no, we train for violence. I'm ready and I'm staying ready so I don't have to get ready. So beware. Shout out to the greatest leader, not a president, not a politician, not your average CEO, the best that has ever done did it. The Dun Dada, the number one mobster, Elon the Don. Shout out to the United States of America. Thanks for being here. And I'll see you guys on the next one. And beware that when you mess with us as shareholders, we come in deep. We ain't playing with your boy. Wow, 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 wow.